when I was a little kid, I used to come, this is where we used to go sled climbing, this is still there, there's a slide there, and there's the pool I always talk about with the sand bottom, you can't see it now, but it's actually, there's a sand bottom pool right there, this is where I used to uh, hang out in the summers, this was the pool we talked about, and it's actually got sand beaches around it, and then there's a the sand bottom pool, it used to be where the sled the slide comes down, there used to be uh, uh, three diving pools. Dive off of the deep end. It's still sand bottom and sand beaches, and that's the pool. And behind that, there's a big hill that used to be where we used to come up here to go sled the whole time. A fun place, so we've got very fond memories. And the other thing I just tell you is in the winter, they freeze on, they still do, and it's the ice skating. knew where we lived because we live right next to that water tower that's like a silo on the back by it you see the uh, graveyard you could always play hide seek sneak in there and kind of play in the graveyard and there was the school right there where I went to elementary school in the background was all five four fields where we used to play little league peewees they called it and baseball when I used to play a little baseball when I was in the area is where I went to elementary school Sweeney at uh, elementary school to walk to school, school I went to growing up. I used to live right across the basic catacorn from the water tower. It's like a silo. The water tower and there's the uh, graveyard that we used to kind of sometimes play in and hang out in. And uh, here is the house that uh, we grew up in. Right there. There I think in 73 something like that. 731 West 10th Avenue, corner of 10th and Clay, is where I grew up. We used to play all the time when we were here, down the street. I had friends that lived right across the street, and down two houses, and then down the end we get the back. It used to be an old cornfield where we used to play guns and tag and all kinds of things. Very good memory. There's my house. Back there. My room was down in the basement of the house. My brother and I had a bedroom down there. A couple bedrooms we put in downstairs. Dad worked out. But, uh, this little church, when I was uh, here in Shakopee, after my time at Bethany, we came and planted a church. And it used to be a Lutheran church. We came and bought it. We've been meeting in the base of a bank when I was involved in church planning. And after meeting there for about two, three years, we finally bought this little building. And shortly after buying it, we actually outgrew it. And so it became the place for our children's ministry and Sunday school. And we ended up moving our services right across the street into Pearson Elementary School. We held services in their cafeteria, gymnasium. So, but this was originally what we called Riverside Community Church, Christian Science Church. We, we bought and purchased. I remember selling vacuum cleaners in the evening to make my building pledge to help us purchase this facility. So, bring back We're in Shakopee with the uh, Dunwell clan. There's Stu and Connie and the grandchildren and the children sitting here at Ruby Tuesdays. Getting ready to have dinner. Back, bringing back old memories. So.